Hi there, this is Beth from the Sterling Public Library here to talk about a couple more books from our young adult collection. The first one is this one. It's called The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan He or He, not sure how to pronounce it, so sorry. Um, anyway, this book is in the science fiction genre. The first line is, I wake on my feet, wind tangled in my hair. This is set in the future of our planet where uh, things are have gotten very bad. Lots of uh, pollution and climate change have contributed to making the the conditions almost unlivable, and people are dying by the millions. So anyway, this book the story centers around two sisters who are separated. Uh, the story is told in alternating chapters uh, from each sister, and this is a story that kind of throws you in the middle with not a lot of backstory. So you have a hard time knowing what's going on, but the more the book progresses, the more you learn and, and things that you assumed were like, oh, that's different than what I thought. And so it, it was really interesting, kept you interested reading. I like the characters. I like both sisters, even though they're very different. Um, I, like I said, I did like it, but I didn't love it. I felt kind of the same about this book as the way I felt about the Maze Runner books, which if you loved the Maze Runner books, go ahead and give this one a shot because you'll probably like it. Uh, I, I did like it. I enjoyed reading it, like I said, but uh, same with The Maze Runner. I felt a lot of times that I didn't really know what was going on. And so that kind of is something I don't like about a book. So even though I did enjoy reading it, that was one thing I had against it. But give this one a shot. It's got really good ratings online. Okay, the other one I want to talk about is this one. It's called The Music of What Happens by Bill Konigsberg. And it came out in 2019. The first line is, there's this thing my dad taught me when I was a kid. So this is a gay romance. And uh, it's, it's about Max, who's this athletic, super extroverted, confident guy. Uh, but he has a secret. Something happened to him in the recent past that's really, really, he really struggles with. Um, and Jordan, who's kind of the exact opposite, skinny, unathletic, kind of emo, a poet, whatever, very not self-confident, thinks everybody thinks he's a loser. So the two of them meet because uh, Jordan's family and he and his mother are in financial issues. Uh, ever since his father died, his mother's kind of spiraled into depression and kind of addictive gambling and so they don't have a lot of money so they decide to take out his father's old food truck for the summer and try and make some money well his mother doesn't last very long because she's not in very good mental shape well max happens to be standing in line when this happens and he likes to cook and is looking for something for the summer and so they he gets hired so the two of them together set out to make this food truck successful for the summer so this is a this a it's very it's a funny it's cute uh, the romance is great. Uh, I liked both of the characters a lot. Uh, but there are the deeper issues that, that, that Max and Jordan are both dealing with. Um, there are some things in here that, about racism and rape and, and, and mental illness. So it does deal with some, some heavier issues, but it does, does a good job with them, I think. I, I, I really liked it. Um, the romance was very fun. So... Um, they both, both the characters do grow a little bit. They're both still in high school, so they don't grow completely. But you do see some growth, so I do like that in a book. Anyway, this is a really good one. And I hope you like it. And let me know if you do like either one of those. Okay, you guys have a good week.